guys. So I have my lovely fiance. My name is Derek and I said yes. You said yes. Clearly I said yes. <laughs> Clearly. Anyway. Put she put a ring on? Oh, well, I ain't got a ring on it yet. He put a <laughs> ring on it. Let's get that straight. Um, oh my God. Lord help us. Anyway, so we figured just because of questions that we get in like our real life and things like that, we'd share it with you guys. Not the fake life, the real one. But we figured we'll chat about what it's like being a millennial couple and being celibate. Um, like what that means for us, why we decided to take this journey and some comments and questions that we get from like various friends or just in conversation that we have with, that we've had with people along the way. Um, and some of it's funny and just how we've handled some of those questions and comments and then briefly discuss like some boundaries that we had to establish mm -hmm. in order to help us along this journey or and get to the finish line but that's probably going to be a video for another day as far as like the details the and starting line like the starting line not the finish line we're not gonna be done starting line what do you mean the marriage not the finish line it's the starting line okay all right so starting back at the top yep so what does it mean to be celibate closed nothing you can't get nothing fellas ladies y'all nothing either no let me unbutton your pants just mm -mm. a little bit mm -mm. Legs closed, pants up. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> a more technical version would be pretty much no oral sex, no, no intercourse, mm -mm. no loopholes, no. like <laughs> nothing. You're dry, mm -hmm. okay? Nothing sexual. But you got to let them know why. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, we didn't just decide to do this out of nowhere. Mm. So I had already as a single individual before I got with Derek, um, decided to be celibate until mm. marriage. Um, most of that was due to, or I should say all of it was really due to, I got deeper in my faith. Um, and then also for practical reasons as well too. Um, so that's why I decided to take that journey. So I knew I wanted to save myself into marriage. And then give myself to my husband. True. <laughs> but uh yeah, for me it was the same. Like I um I was selling before I met Chelsea and it was really along the lines of like, hey, you know, it just didn't feel right with me being sexually active in my previous relationships. It was just it didn't feel right. But um yeah, so it's like I'm like Chelsea said, we're both deeply involved in our faith and it was something that we agreed upon together after we actually had our first date like it was on the first date within the first few conversations like we we didn't even get up from the table to go use the bathroom before this was even discussed yeah so it was great to have that laid out on the first date um that way it cleared the air mm -hmm. it was no, no ambiguity none. yeah no confusion anything like that like it was done and put out and it really just came out in conversation mm -hmm. like which was great because I know a lot of people are like, well, how, how in the world are you going to tell somebody you're not having sex right now? Right. Like, and how like, does fellas, that work? Like, it's okay if she brings it up first. Like, don't be afraid of it. Even, like, I know it's a it's a nerve wracking question. Like, I was nervous, but Chelsea broke the ice and she brought it up first. So I was yeah. like, cool. Because I needed to be understood that you weren't getting no play. <laughs> and if you wanted some, then this was pretty much going to end. So. Yep, like that, that. Those were her exact words. Like now you gonna flex. <laughs> I wouldn't say <laughs> all of that, but um, yeah. So that's just a little bit of background as to why we decided to take this path. Mm -hmm. Um, and like honestly, like thinking about it overall, like put the spiritual and faith part aside, and obviously that's why we decided to proceed with it. But the practical reasons and the benefits, um are so positive too because right. literally sex can be a distraction i'm up. i've only gotten to know him for him because i mean literally all we <laughs> can do is talk talk <laughs> like that is it like hey what you doing i'm about to fall asleep but like that's it like there is no you know let me come over real quick let me, let me get a quick and be out like no like when we have a problem we have to discuss it like there is no makeup sex you know no put it off and with that like no it's you got to address the, the problem straight Although up. Although I am looking forward to it once we got married. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> okay. So, moving on. Um, so, so, some... What did you get? Like, didn't you... Like, 
your friends say stuff, my friends say stuff. Let's let's tell the people a little bit more about like some funny. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess my all time favorite. And honestly, like we really don't take offense when mm -hmm. people ask us questions or comments. Um, we don't push our beliefs on anybody. We like to share it because we do think it's a great thing to incorporate in your relationship. Mm -hmm. um, if you're able to do so, we definitely are all for it. Um, we don't condemn those that don't mm -hmm. decide to take this path. No, it's all grace. So um, we, love, we, we make our decision through grace. We love people through grace. Just because they don't think or do the same things we do doesn't mean we love them less. Yeah. Um, so one of my all-time favorite questions is, girl... I mean, did you just not have any good sex before? Like, what? Why? Why? And <laughs> like I said, I don't get offended. Um, and no, I did. Um, you know, I was sexually active before meeting Derek and before I decided to be celibate as a single and then in a relationship. Um, and no, I did enjoy sex before. I did have good sex before. But it was something that I knew I just didn't want to continue. Um, so it had nothing to do with the quality of my sex life before. So I know you've gotten some interesting questions and comments. True. So I think the one that stood out to me the most was that it was Valentine's Day. So I was on the phone. It was like, so, bro, what you going to do? You, you about to get this room? Y'all about to get it in? Like, it's perfect opportunity for y'all to lose your virginity. And like, Lose our virginity? Yeah. That's what they said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was confused too. It was like, bro, you, I don't, anyways, but it was like, no, I'm not finna have sex on Valentine's Day. Like, I have other things planned. Like, sex is the only way you express love. Like, intimacy is way more than just sex. Like, Chelsea and I. No birthday sex. No, no birthday Valentine's sex. Day sex. But why do you gotta limit it just birthday and Valentine's Day? That's not a healthy sex life. They're not just, saying that. They're just I'm saying, saying people that, gift it. I'm not saying that it's not. All right. So I think one that we've probably both received and one of my all time mm -hmm. favorites whenever this comes up is how do you know it'll be good but when like, you do get married? You don't want to test the milk before you buy the cow? You want to drive the car before you pull it off the lot? No, we don't. Um, and honestly, so a good book about that is The Weight, but we're not even going to go into tons of detail about that. Mm -hmm. But how do I know it'd be good? I don't know it'd be good, like just being honest. True. But I have faith that the Lord has blessed me with a freaky one. Um, <laughs> <dang it>. So, <laughs> yeah, I got faith that that department, I've prayed on it. You know, just been like, Lord, since I'm waiting, that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I mean, just like when you're in a relationship, you don't know if the first time is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to learn each other's bodies. Right. And as a married couple, we know that we're going to have to learn each other's bodies. And as a married couple, we're going to work on it. Right. And I think that's the beauty, the beautiful part of it is like you truly get to learn everything about your spouse. Like, mm -hmm. that's something that you... That's how you build intimacy and more than just sex. And so sex is also is a part of it, but it gives you that 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 passion to be able to build in. It's not just the act, it's actual it's everything else that goes around it. So it's like the service piece, everything. Yeah, so there's a lot of pieces to that. Um, but just like when you love somebody in a relationship, whether boyfriend, girlfriend, engaged, whatever stage, mm -hmm. and you choose to work on it, if it's maybe not hitting the first time, I mean, that's the same thing that we're going to do in our marriage. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I got faith that, you know, it's going to be good. We'll have an abundant yeah. sex life. Oh, so you got to speak that. The power of the tongue, Damn people, it. the power of the tongue. <laughs> but um, yeah, and things that have helped us stay on track because obviously you can't just be like okay we're gonna be celibate mm. life is all good mm. no we've need been there huh you need a roadmap yes you do because especially if you've been there done that and mm. even if you haven't been there done that you have to establish boundaries um and that's probably a topic that we can get into uh, at a later date as far as like what our boundaries are the mm. list how we go through it but boundaries are so important. Very much. Like it, it keeps you on it keeps you on track. It keeps you focused. It's like you know what the goal is. It's something that you have to constantly go back to too. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, like you said, and they're evolving. Like, you learn, like, you could have had boundaries as a single individual, mm-hmm. but then you change that mm-hmm. as a couple and you learn okay this isn't okay for this person this is good for that person but again like boundaries is we can get in depth on boundaries and everything but um hopefully that gave you insight into us being a millennial couple and being mm-hmm. celibate why we decided to take the trek um or take the journey some funny comments or questions that we've gotten what it means <laughs> to be celibate right um and a little taste of boundaries So until next time.